What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new to my channel then welcome. I'm Sabrina Marie or Marie J here on YouTube and if you are new to my channel and if you like this video make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Today I have a foundation review for you guys. Another one. Another another foundation review and this is on the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick that just came out. In my haul video I asked if you guys wanted to see a foundation review on it because I've been doing a lot of foundation reviews lately and you guys still said you wanted to see it so that's what I'm doing today and I am wearing this foundation on my skin right now obviously and I am going to show you how I apply it and I'll be sharing with you some of the claims that it makes so on and so forth. In the beginning of the demo I'm only wearing eyeshadow so I'm warning you right now it's going to look a little bit crazy but I promise you it'll end up like this. But enough of me talking let's go ahead and move on to the review and demo this foundation i ordered it online they launched it first on the anastasia beverly hills website and i was on the website trying to figure out my shade and i didn't really know what shade to go with so i went with the shade almond and i feel well i don't feel i know that this is going to be too dark for me i feel like i should have gone maybe like a shade or two lower but this is what their packaging looks like it's the standard anastasia beverly hills packaging on here it just says anastasia beverly hills stick foundation and it has 0.35 ounces and then on the side it says the shade this is what her foundation stick looks like so you get the gold engravement of Anastasia Beverly Hills and then on the cap it also has her logo on there and then on the bottom it also has the foundation shade. She has 28 different shades in this foundation and the foundations range from yellow undertone, neutral undertone, olive undertone, pink undertone, and red undertone. Like there are a lot of different undertones to pick from and she has a great shade selection for just about any complexion. So here it says it's a highly pigmented buildable cream formula that leaves a natural matte finish. Apply Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation as an all over foundation, sheared out as a tinted moisturizer, or for highlighting and contouring. On the Sephora website, it says it's a multitasking medium to full coverage stick foundation, ideal for all skin tones, and combination to oily skin types, it's easy to layer and delivers medium to full coverage with a smooth finish. It's perfect for all over coverage, touch-ups, or highlighting and contouring. So it pretty much says the same thing on the Sephora website as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying the foundation. I'm just going to show you really quick how much product it has. So that's how much it has. And it has quite a bit of product, especially if it's a medium to full coverage foundation. So I'm going to do this half of my face first using my beauty blender. By the way, I don't have any primer on my face at all and I have oily skin. See right off the bat, you can see that this foundation is too, too dark for me, which I'm so disappointed. That's why I don't like ordering stuff online, but I'm just going to apply that much. Hopefully when I blend it out, it looks okay. But the texture feels very similar to the hourglass one except it's not as like creamy i feel like the hourglass one it feels so like silky and it goes on like super quick this one's a little thicker uh this is gonna be too dark this one right here matches like my arms i feel or it matches my legs but it's too dark for my face that's just my fault. It's not anything with the foundation. This would be more of like even maybe a contour shade for me. So after blending it out, I feel like it didn't really cover to a medium coverage. I don't know if that's because it's not my shade, but usually they say if a foundation is darker, it covers more supposedly. But this one, I'm getting more of a like light coverage at least for me because I can see a lot of my scars still. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it like this and just finish off this side with my Morphe M439 and then if I feel like I need more coverage then I'll go ahead and build it up. With the brush it's focusing the product a lot more in like one area which is good. It's crazy because on camera it looks okay, but in person my face looks super red, like red, 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 red. So this is how it looks with the Morphe M439. I think the coverage looks a lot better on this side than this side, and this side it looks kind of like 
almost like splotchy in this area. I am going to have to build the coverage because I don't like the coverage it's giving me right now. The finish of it is nice. It does have more of a like a natural matte finish. I just, I really love the finish. I love the way it sits on the skin. Like this foundation looks really, really good. I just feel like the coverage was really light for it being a medium to full or buildable foundation. But it looks really, really good and it looks like it's lightweight. It doesn't look like a super intense, thick, heavy foundation. I like the way it looks like around my forehead because I don't have any blemishes there. So it looks just like flawless. It looks like skin, very natural. But really quickly, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. This is what it looks like once my makeup is done and I feel like it looks a lot better, but I will tell you that I had to do a lot of highlighting in order for me to get this finished look. When I say highlighting, I mean using a concealer that is one or two shades lighter than my skin tone. So I applied that underneath the eyes and I also applied it underneath here so I made the foundation kind of work as a contour stick and to highlight these areas I used my LA girl pro conceal in the color creamy beige the only other product I applied on my face was my Cody airspun loose face powder and I applied that right in this area to um, set my concealer but I don't have any bronzer and I don't have any like highlight the actual highlight that goes right here I don't have that on and this is how it looks so I feel like it would work really, really well as a contour stick more than it would as a foundation. I personally didn't get a ton of coverage out of it. I'm not sure if you guys can see on here. No, you guys can't really see. But in person, like you can still see my scars peeking through and stuff. That's just me personally. If you don't have any scars or if you don't have pigmentation or any blemishes that you want to cover, this foundation is going to cover everything for you and it's going to look completely flawless. But for somebody like me who does have the scars and the pigmentation, this might not cover it all. I do like the way it looks on my skin and it does have a really nice finish to it. I just don't like the fact that it didn't cover a lot when I first applied it because it is pretty thick. But once you blend it out, I feel like it shears out a lot. But like I said, this formula is perfect, perfect, perfect for contouring and for bronzing up the face. Like I touched up a little bit more around here and it's the perfect shade for me to bronze up my skin. Like the shade matches this area of my body perfectly. So it brings that life back into my skin, but I personally wouldn't use it as a foundation. So right now it is 10.37 in the morning. So I'm going to wear this foundation all day long now this foundation doesn't claim to have a specific like wear but i am gonna still wear it to see how it looks at the end of the day just to see if it's like breaking up or if it's getting oily or anything like that so i will be back at the end of the day okay so it is currently 11 5 p.m so i have been wearing this foundation for for a long time it's been about 12 hours already and this is how it has held up so far it is already nighttime obviously so the lighting's a lot different but this is what it looks like so the foundation has pretty much stayed on the entire day but it didn't stay like matte or anything it did get pretty oily around my forehead around this area as well and on my chin but that can be fixed with powder in this lighting you can see a lot more that the foundation isn't a full coverage it's more of a medium coverage because you can see my scars and stuff but it did hold up pretty well throughout the day all in all i do think that the foundation is like buildable and it has a natural matte finish but i don't think i'll be wearing it as a foundation because like i mentioned it didn't cover everything even after I put a second layer. So I will be using it as a contour stick, but I won't be using it as a full-on foundation. So that pretty much concludes my review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. So if you have any further questions on the foundation, please leave them in the comments section and I will get back to you on that. And then also, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure to subscribe before you head out. 
Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video.